Hi, everybody. Um, it's so nice to be here. I've never actually been invited to speak at a conference like this, so this is very exciting and also a little bit terrifying for me. Um, so I'm going to talk about this resource. Uh, it's the Library Tool Shed, and I'm, just to give you the background, I actually am not affiliated with them. I didn't do any work on the Tool Shed. However, through my work at BPL, we have used the Tool Shed. Some of you, does any has anybody used this or is aware of this resource? Okay, a lot of you. This is fantastic. Um, so through VPL, um, my work in the programming and learning department, uh, we do teaching for the public. We teach digital literacy. Uh, we did a huge review of all of our resources about a year ago, um, and subsequently we loaded those resources to the library toolshed. Um, library toolshed is uh, support for Western Canadian library systems, um, and really what the purpose is of this is if we can all share the types of resources that are involved in any kind of programs, uh, any kind of training, all ages, all ranges, if we share those resources, then if you need something in your system, you don't have to build it from the ground up, basically. Um, and it's going to save you a lot of time to take those materials and you can repurpose them to your needs. Um, there's some licensing, which I'll talk about in a second. But it's just going to help you free up more time for your staff. Um, and hopefully the more that you get the word spread around, the bigger these resources are going to grow on this tool shed. Um, so the people that are affiliated with it, they're actually, this is Library Tool Shed. It's uh, really, it's a really simple site to navigate. There's not a lot that's on here. I'll explore some of the categories in a second. Um, the folks that are affiliated are just listed here at the bottom. So we've got uh, the Alberta Library, Association of BC Public Library Directors, Saskatchewan Multi-Type Library Board, and Manitoba Library Public Services Branch. Now the platform is actually hosted by the, the BC Libraries Cooperative. Um, now there's three categories, scroll up here. Okay, so we have something like presentations, I'll just explore a little bit, I'm not gonna go too deep just in the interest of time. Uh, so you can, you can do your keyword searching of course, uh, but you can see there's some things in here if you wanna have a look, some of the resources that are here, I'm going to get my glasses on so I can see a little better here. Okay. So the, you can just scroll right down to the bottom if you want to have a look at the list. So there's things like the, like the BCLA conferences in here. So you're going to see things under presentations, some of the slides that might have been presented, individual talks. Uh, what they've tried to do is the, the content that you can upload and download here is going to be in very uh, basic file types, really consistent things, uh, Word documents, PDF files, PowerPoint presentations. Um, they encourage people to keep them in very simple files like that so that it's much more easy for people to share. Um, now, and it was actually, I forgot to mention, it was actually in the early 2016. So it is, it is still a bit of a baby here. Okay, so you can see some of the materials that are there. Um, some of the other topics. So you can go to the browse, we'll go to programs. Okay. And this is also open to the public as well, so this isn't like a private site or anything. Um, in order to upload, you do have to be um, a, a library staff member, and I'll show you that in just one second. Um, so programs are gonna be things, you're gonna see a lot of children's programs that are uploaded here. Um, when you actually go to do this, uh, if you have materials that you want to upload as a staff member, um, there's basically like a form that you fill out. It's really, really simple. It's really simple to sign up, and it's really simple to upload your materials. And you can just fill out as much of the, um, it's like a form field, so just fill out as much of it as you can. So you can see some of the topics that are here, and it's all age ranges. So you've got everything from children's programming to seniors. So it's quite a wide, wide range of programs. And then the library systems are just going to be on the right hand side there. I was really impressed, there was a lot actually from Saskatchewan. They're really kicking our butts on this one. So we need to get we need to get the people out here uploading some content. It's just it's gonna be a fantastic, it's already is a fantastic resource, but the more people that contribute to this, the better it's going to get. Yeah, I'll just take a look. And the last one here is like the all resources. 
Um, and all resources is where you're going to find things that are more like um, training and teaching materials. So for uh, Vancouver Public Library, we uploaded things, uh, the materials that we teach. I think we've got about 17 core courses that we teach in digital literacy specifically. And those would include PowerPoint presentations, handouts that we have, um, and then like training scripts. Okay. Um, one of the things just to note, there we go there. So these are going to be, um, at first I was a little bit confused when I was looking at this, I thought, okay, these are the specific formats, but actually no, these are the topics that you can explore. Uh, accessibility, there we go. So it's going to give you the file types there. Okay. Um, the about page is probably the most useful section for you here. This has all the information. There's a contact information here. If you have any questions and you need any kind of support, it's going to be just listed at the bottom of the page. To register, I'm just going to quickly click on this. So for registration, uh, one, you have to be a library staff member. This is really simple to fill out. This just literally takes you 15 seconds. It's a name and an email. Um, the email is going to have to be a valid work email. Because uh, this is what they do is once you send this form through, you get a confirmation and that it's pending, and they verify that you're a staff member for that library. So they're looking at valid library domain addresses. So don't use your personal email if you're signing up to this. Okay, and it literally took uh, 24 hours. I got verification, <coughs> and they said you're fine to go. Just verify your account, and then you're you can just upload immediately. The process is very simple. Now what you need to do, you need to be a member of one of these libraries. So we got this list here, and it just goes by province. So you can just scroll through and choose your library system. Okay. Really, really easy, very straightforward. And of course you do need to make sure that you have permission. <laughs> make sure that you're checking with your supervisors before you load that content. going to go back to the about page. So contact information, there's not an exact contact here. You just want to go down to, there we go. So it's support at library tool shed. Okay. I can also, I, I, Tammy mentioned just reserving questions for the breakout sessions. Yeah. In the interest of time. So if you have questions for me, we can do that then. Or if you have questions, you can just email this cooperative directly. Um, now in terms of the formats, um, you're going to see things like I mentioned uh, Word doc. Um, what I did notice is when I actually created the account and went in to do some loading, there was a lot of additional formats. So there was Excel spreadsheets, EPUBs, uh, JPEGs, TIFF files. So it will depend on what you're loading there. In terms of video links, um, you can either do a link directly if it's a site like Vimeo or YouTube, there's an embed code so you can actually just embed it in the site. Um, you don't have, an, have to have the account, however, if you just want to download. So if you just want to take some of the materials that are here and repurpose them, you can just take them from the site. You don't need to create the account. Um, I just wanted to mention, though, that it is under um, a Creative Commons license. So if you do take any of these materials to modify them for your own use, you just have to make sure that you quote back to the original library and the source. And I think that that is everything that I wanted to note. Uh, there's some other information. There's also a blog there if you want to follow along with the blog. And they also have a newsletter that they put out. Go back to the main page. There we go. Toolshed blog. And yeah, just I just like to encourage everybody, if you can, if you know other people, share this resource, tell them about it. Please share what you have. Um, and make use of the content. Um, and that's all I have to say. Thank you so much. I, see a Is uh, it? I, I know you wanted the whole questions. Uh, <laughs> um, as the person who runs it and built it, thank you so much for demoing it. That's really awesome. But also, I just <laughs> wanted to advertise that in the fall, the new category of content that we're going to be offering is policies. So, uh, yeah, policy repository for uh, across the four Western provinces, so people can share sort of exemplary library policies. So we're pretty excited about that. Thank you.